Hello everyone and welcome back to Project Castaway. So I decided to delve back into this game and just give it another chance because, well, let's just say, as you could probably tell in the last episode, I was a little bit disappointed to have not actually been able to find anything after we explored probably three or four islands and I couldn't really find anything really. Um, but I have noticed that the devs have recently um, updated the game because there was a couple of bugs of and things like that. And I've also noticed as well, we've got a weird sort of arrow or compass thing on our ui that i'm pretty sure we didn't have before it's kind of pointing back onto this island where we found the first little note now i'm pretty sure we unlocked some more notes on the radio tower or maybe we didn't but yeah we've got this note here which there's obviously a digit at the end which is number one which we're all pretty familiar with um if you were here on the last episode but we're going to head back over there and see if anything sort of changed and if there's anything different over there just because i'm not convinced that maybe you know um, a bug was affecting us in trying to find what we were supposed to be finding so i thought we'd give it another chance and we'll head over there and we'll see what we can find so let's head on over this way um we want to kind of steer the boat this way although it's not really going to work it's so difficult to use this raft sometimes it really is okay let's put this sail down let's give it a good push out into the ocean and we'll try again so let's hop on to it uh we'll grow the this and we'll grab the rudder hopefully we can turn it around yeah that's a bit better okay so yeah what we're going to do is do our best to find traces of our uncle as that's kind of the goal of the storyline so far we're pretty well set up back at camp over there so i'm pretty happy about that um oh, we are moving i thought we'd stop moving for a second then but it looks like it's uh picked up the pace again so i'm pretty sure we did set up a, another base over here anyway so we'll go ahead and we'll head back there at least we know we've got a form of food and resources over in this direction anyway i'm pretty cute pretty sure it was round towards the back of the island but we'll see if we can find it again because we kind of went round this direction we searched that island over there and there was another one sort of over here as well i'm pretty sure we haven't done that one over there so i think maybe we'll do that um at a later date but at least we're gonna head over in this direction see what we can find in this island so here we are back on this island and yeah i was right where i did remember we did make us set up a little camp over here so that's good so let's just continue exploring this island see if we can find any more um notes or anything that's going to point towards where we need to be and what we need to be doing next there's got to be some more notes on this island surely somewhere um so we're going to spend a little bit of time we're gonna try and find all of these hidden sticky notes and bits and pieces like that as i said i'm a little bit confused as to whether the radio tower ones are just on this island or whether they are on the other islands as well i'm not entirely 100 percent sure on how it works but we're gonna see if we can figure it out nonetheless so we're just gonna give the island a good exploration oh okay so we have a different kind of ui system it's actually telling us that there is a bottled note over here i'm pretty sure that wasn't happening before so that's a pretty handy feature at least then we can't miss them as easily let's go ahead and grab this note and we'll give it a read to be in our journal okay so william's letter i am william hargrove a sailor aboard the merchant vessel neptune's bounty a sudden violent storm drove us, drove us off course and onto the trackfish rocks of this deserted island. The ship is wrecked beyond repair, and many of my comrades were lost at sea. Those of us who survived are now marooned with dwindling supplies and no means of communication. We've tried signaling for help, but our efforts have been in vain. It's as if the world has forgotten us. Food scarce and the fresh water is becoming harder to find. The island feels cursed. Strange sounds echo through the night, and our fires often go out without explanation. I've seen remnants of previous castaways, old campsites, tattered clothing, and bones bleached by the sun. It's clear we are not the first to suffer this fate. If you find this letter, please alert authorities and send rescue. Our hopes fade with each passing day. But perhaps this message can bring us salvation. William Hargrove okay so here's under the same impression as kind of we were that we're not exactly the first ones to be here um obviously they appeared here unfortunately because they had issues with their ship in a storm but that's not how everyone sort of handed here so yeah we're definitely finding more around here because I'm, I'm pretty sure we explored all of this um last time round. but we seem to be doing a lot better actually finding bits that we were supposed to be finding before so i'm pretty glad we 
kind of delved back into this game and gave it another chance and uh, we're possibly going to find some more interesting things so let's see what this bottled note is all about so traveler's note i set out on a solo voyage across the pacific ocean fulfilling a lifelong dream after retiring at the age of 55 sailing had always been my passion something i looked forward to for years i thought i was prepared for anything the ocean could throw at me i was wrong everything started well enough but then my gps stopped working i became disorientated and lost drifting aimlessly for days the sea once my sanctuary has become my prison i try to navigate by the stars but endless expanse of water is unforgiving and my bearings are lost possibly i've landed on a small uncharted island at first i thought it was a blessing a place to rest and regroup but this island is anything but safe there's an eerie stillness here broken only by strange sounds at night the sense of being watched is constant and it chills me to the bone i don't want to die here the regret is overwhelming i left behind a comfortable life my family and friends chasing a dream that has turned into a nightmare every day i hope for a passing ship or a plane some sign that i haven't i haven't been forgotten if you find this letter please know that i fought to survive tell my family that i love them and that i'm sorry for the pain my absence will cause this was supposed to be my grand adventure my crowning achievement instead it has become my greatest foley please send help I don't have much time left and I don't want to become another lost soul on this forsaken island with deepest regrets Martin Blake okay so yeah there's definitely some eerie stuff going on here around here definitely things that um definitely need to be explained I think we'll carry on on the beach sort of this way see if we can find any more bottles and um, we probably could do with grabbing some food at some point as well for when we stop and um, we won't worry about that too much it's pretty early in the afternoon I think we'll just scout the edge of the beach front to make sure there's not any more bottles or anything over here we should just end up in a complete full circle and we'll just work up start working our way into the island I think probably going to be the best thing to do uh, we haven't got an axe but we should be able to chop it down with this this knife so i think we'll take some of this hawaiian blueberry um a raspberry plant we'll take some raspberry as well we'll add that to the list of stuff we can um gather and make some food out of so let's see what we have over here um this is granite okay or granite got some of that already so it's not too much of an issue but plenty of tires over here we've got a surfboard pretty sure we've explored most of this oh yes we've got that submarine there as well haven't we that's surrounded by sharks that we wanted to explore last time didn't quite get a chance to do that because um the sharks made very quick work of us that's for sure i think we should just go for it go for it see what we can do no it's not gonna end well okay so we've come this far so now i think we should just go through the center maybe and see if we can find anything going through here we kind of just went on the outside so let's um just double check there's nothing over here we have got a nice kimono dragon over here but we should be able to make light work of him he wasn't too bad last time just need to keep our distance and just hit him a few times with our spear we should be good to go yeah there we go so i think what we'll do is we'll take this meat that will give us a nice bit of resource okay lovely so oh there was a sticky note on this tree before i think that's where we found that original one so yeah there's nothing in the center over here but let's check this small little woodland area out before we check over that side just double check we're not missing anything over here we need to make sure we're checking all the rocks and things like that because we have seen these sticky notes to be placed in very obscure places that aren't very easy to see so we just need to make sure we are keeping an eye out for things because they could be anywhere so we'll just make sure we scout the area properly oh yes we got a nice abandoned car over here okay let's see if we can get back up up here possibly yeah that's good can't see anything just yet and there could be some stuff over here maybe on this rock face doesn't seem like there's anything over here so coast is clear in that respect okay let's head on back up this way see if we can find anything over here uh, that's just our raft so that's good doesn't seem to be anything up here either so so far it's not looking good we're not finding anything of any significance being attacked by something not really sure what that is oh it's a little little spider i can't see it though ah we got it okay perfect nice little wolf spider so we've got him gone so if we're over in this direction i can't really see anything that's worth noting or talking about there doesn't seem to be a lot over here so that area is pretty 
done. So I think we just need to explore this area a little bit more. It is getting late and we are starting to get tired, but we'll try and soldier on for a little bit longer. Uh, camp is only just down there, so that's pretty good. We can try and hop around here and see if we can see anything. Can't see anything of yet. Nothing is flagging up on the UI, so that's always a good sign. I am expecting something to be up here, to be honest. Oh, looks like we've got ourselves a little bit stuck. That wasn't good. Okay, so yeah, it's getting quite dark already because it is quite foggy. So I think we'll just need to be rather quick around here. So I can't see anything as of yet in these sort of areas. Seems like we are pretty good for the moment. I think what we'll do is we'll head back. We'll cook up a nice little meal, I think. We'll take the night here, sleep, and hopefully this horrible weather will stop a bit. So we can um, carry on exploring up there. It does point up in that direction, but I'm pretty sure we explored all up there and there wasn't really much going on. But we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's the next day. We are all prepped and ready. We're all fed and watered. So let's go on ahead up and back up here. See if we can see anything um, around here that's sort of different and changed. Maybe there's um, some more clues over in this part. We'll have a look. Can't see anything obvious as of yet, but there possibly might some be some stuff up there. Let's just check in here. I think we've already checked in here, actually. Yes, we have. Okay, so let's go ahead and check up in this direction, see what we can find. So we have been up here before and we couldn't really see anything that was a sort of massive or major. I mean, that we can kind of do um, any more than what we have already. Oh, there is something up there. That wasn't there before because we've definitely been up here. I know we have for certain because that's where we found this sort of a lockbox up here that we need to enter a code. We know the first number is one, but we did explore up the top here as well i'm sure we did um oh yes see is crouch well let's head on back up here then and see what this note says or it might not even be a note it might be something of more importance than the note because we need to fix these sections down here as well but there was no idea of what we are finding here ah cassette tape floor item interesting let me just um sort the audio out here the music was a little bit louder than i would have liked i couldn't really hear the voices too much so we'll just change the music down um let's see if we can read the ah oh, escape okay i hope i don't perish on these islands and nobody has to find this recording this is james Alaberry. i'm recording this in the middle of a storm one that came out of nowhere my plane's instruments are failing radio communication GPS, all gone. But if anyone finds this, I need you to know why I'm here. I'm searching for my uncle, Seamus Allivery. He was more than just family. He was my hero. He worked as an on-site researcher and archaeologist for Mordenpole Inc., a company with a reputation that's as murky as the waters we're flying over. The last time we spoke, he told me he was heading to the site of the legendary Golden Horizon, a place that's shrouded in mystery and danger. I begged him not to go but he felt he had no choice. My mother is sick, and my father's been gone for years. I think Uncle Seamus took that job because he felt responsible, like he had to take care of us. But now he's been missing for 14 months, and Mordenpole's giving me the runaround. The police have been no help either, so I've decided to take matters into my own hands. I found a set of coordinates in his home office, clues to where he might have gone. My plan was to start in the Caribbean and work my way to the Pacific. But now, I'm not so sure I'll make it. If this is the end for me, please, let it be known that Seamus Alivary was a good man. He didn't
didn't deserve whatever happened to him. And if I don't make it, someone out there, please continue the search. Okay, so now it makes more sense. This is why we've been struggling with this game um, in the last few episodes, because, well, obviously some of the more important things um, seem to have bugged out for some reason and weren't actually showing up, which is a, a little bit awkward because that kind of means we kind of wasted a little bit of time. Um, but it looks like we've got something else down this direction, so we're going to grab that as well. But now it all actually makes sense, as I said so very interesting okay so there's definitely fish something fishy going on on these islands um i believe that other item was over here ah yes there we go so cassette i law item okay we found another one. Oh, and that that one just disappeared okay um tape recording two okay so hold on a minute so where was that other tape that i wanted to listen to oh okay so we've got we've got three now apparently so this was tape recording two which was his uncle which we found at the top so let's listen to that one again because we didn't quite catch it all i don't think this is your uncle seamus i don't have much time so i'll keep this brief i didn't want to drag you or your mother into this mess but life doesn't always give us a choice the deaths they were crushing me I couldn't bear the thought of leaving that burden on you both, so when Mord and Paul Inc. came knocking with their offer, I took it. I knew it was risky, but I didn't know just how deep the darkness ran, the mission they sent us on. It wasn't just about research. This island, James. It's unlike anything I've ever encountered. The ruins here hold secrets that shouldn't be uncovered. Mord and Paul knew that, and they sent us anyway. They sent us to... to awaken something. We were a team when we started. Trained, equipped. But this place, it's not just the elements that are hostile. It's as if the island itself is alive, testing us, preying on our fears, our regrets. One by one, I've watched my team fall. Good people, lost to something I can't even fully understand. I'm alone now, trying to keep the darkness at bay, but it's getting harder. Every step I take feels like it's pulling me deeper into the island's grasp. I've found things, James. Things that should have stayed buried. I'm not sure what Mordenpol is after anymore, but I know it's nothing good. If you're here, if you followed the breadcrumbs I left, I need you to know something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't stronger, that I couldn't protect the people who depended on me. And I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you and your mother when you needed me the most. I don't know how this will end, but I have to believe there's still hope, that there's still a way to make things right. Just be careful, James. Trust your instincts and don't let this place take you too. Ah, okay, so yeah. We definitely need to be careful. Um, there's obviously something really dodgy and fishy going on this island. Um, but at least we've now heard from our uncle, which is a pretty good thing. So now we need to build a palm bed, which allows us to restore energy, sanity, and save progress. Well, I think we're pretty much already done that. We're kind of way ahead of that one. Um, I just thought I'd pick up this amulet as well that we kind of um, picked up a few episodes ago. But obviously we kind of um, didn't do so well and ended up... Um, not surviving for very long so there we go so bed allows you to restore energy i'm guessing it's just literally pointing to the bed we've already made it has so do i need to build another palm bed or can i just destroy this one maybe we'll, we'll sleep in it and see what happens actually we'll just sleep for say an hour um we'll sleep for an hour we'll just see what that you slept too much apparently okay uh we can't be sleeping yet then so kind of need to do that to uh, progress through the game so i'll just sort this little bit out and then we'll continue progressing through see what else we can uncover on the, this not so nice looking island anymore okay so sleeping in the bed didn't fix the issue so we've just built another one and we need one more palm leaf so hopefully that will complete the quest and it has okay perfect so um looks like we've got no more no more indication of what to do next so that begs the question of well, where do we go from here so we've got logan harper's notes um reality sets in through scavenge okay so yeah okay so we have read all of that so that's pretty good um 
we've got bottle notes radio tower we've definitely completed that one okay so it looks like we need to go and explore these other islands again um now that certain things have actually appeared um probably where they were supposed to appear oh we've got some silver over here um i think it's probably best we go ahead and explore these islands over here maybe the ones that we explored in the previous episode maybe there's actually stuff there now that there wasn't before so i think it's probably worth going ahead and heading on over there to see if we can find anything new now that things are actually showing up and the game seems to have been fixed um so far anyway so we did start from that island over there so so yeah let's go ahead we'll head over to that island we'll do those two again and then we'll kind of go from there okay so here we are on these group of four small little islands um just kind of roaming around and exploring see what we can see oh okay this wasn't here before was it i don't think it was we've got another bottled note that's pretty good we're definitely finding more stuff this time around so i'm pretty sure the devs have actually fixed the game now which is good um should we let's just explore this small little island we'll go back to that one. Oh, it's a big starfish see if we can find anything over here and then we'll probably head back to base or possibly back to base so we'll just go for the next sort of little islands i'm not exactly sure where we're gonna go exactly but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so yeah doesn't seem to be anything on this bit so we'll head over finish exploring this part over here and then we'll kind of head back in probably that direction we'll make around way around that way so i don't think there's gonna be much on these sort of islands to be honest with you apart from getting attacked by nature i don't think we're gonna find much else over here but we have found one bottled note which is a good start because before we found absolutely nothing so unless we just completely missed them just because part of it wasn't working oh we found another one over here perfect Okay, so yeah, we're finding a lot more this time round, which is good. Very good indeed to actually get to experience the game um, a little bit better than we have been. Because so far, as I said, it, I felt it was a bit underwhelming because there wasn't a lot going on or much direction on where to go apart from just building stuff and crafting and surviving. I was quite looking forward to the lore of this game. So at least we're definitely getting to experience that a bit now, which is good. And I'm pretty sure we've pretty much explored everywhere around here. So we've got a couple of bottled notes to read. And then what I think we'll do is we'll kind of head to the other side of the radio island. Um, I know there was another island over there, so I think we'll head over in that direction. So I think what we'll do is we'll get the raft set up, we'll get it heading in that direction, and then we'll give these notes a read. Why we have some time to kill to explore over there okay so there we are we're heading off in that direction so let's go ahead and read these new notes that we've got so um letter from missing cargo ship is it this one we wanted williams letter right we've read that one already covers no no we found that We've read that one. Okay, so letter from missing cargo ship. To whom it main concern. My name is David Carter. And I was the first mate on a cargo ship, Ocean Voyager. We set sail with a full load of goods, everything from electronics to clothing, even some crates of exotic fruit. We were making our way across the Pacific when a storm hit. It came out of nowhere, fierce and unforgiving. The waves were like mountains, and the wind howled like a banshee. We tried to steer through it, but it was no use. The ship was tossed around like a toy, and before we knew it, we were sinking. Packages and crates were scattered everywhere, floating away into the vast ocean. A lot of my crew didn't make it. I've watched them get swallowed by the waves one by one. I still hear their screams at night, but here are a few of us who managed to cling by some debris and make it to a nearby island. But it's been weeks, maybe months, and there's still no sign of rescue. It's strange, you'd think someone would have come by now. We had a distress signal, and the shipping lanes are usually busy. But it's like we've vanished from the map. We've tried everything. We've lit signal fires, spelled out SOS with rocks on the beach. Even tried to build a raft, but nothing works. The islands are starting to feel like a prison. Food is scarce, and the fresh water is running out. We've scavenged what we can, but it's not enough. The exotic fruit from the cargo is long gone, and we're left with whatever catch or find. I've seen some of the packages wash up on shore. Random items that has no use to us. Laptops with no power design. Clothes that offer no warmth. Okay, we're stuck. Um, let's just carry on reading this, and then we'll head over in that direction. So, where are we? Page three. Who bots? I've seen some of the packages wash up on shore. Random items that have no use to us. Laptops with no power. Designer clothes that offer no warmth. Even a crate of rubber ducks. Honest article. 
The useless things that have survived are always struggling to stay alive. Hope is fading. Every day is a struggle to survive and every night a battle against despair. I'm starting to think no one is coming for us. Maybe we've been forgotten or maybe there's a chance or maybe there's something else going on that I can't understand. All I know is that it's getting harder to keep going. If someone finds this, please know that we tried. We fought to survive but sometimes it feels like the ocean itself is against us. If you're reading this, maybe there's still a chance for rescue. But for me, hope is a dwindling fame and i'm not sure how much longer i can keep it burning these are so sad to read and like could you just imagine going through something like this in real life like do you think you'd be able to survive so claire's letter to have a fight to whoever finds this my name is claire if you find this message please know that i'm desperate and heartbroken i put this message in a bottle hoping it might reach someone somewhere logan if by some miracle you find this i need you to know how much i love and miss you not a day goes by that i don't think about you wondering why you ran away like that was it something i did something i said the guilt eats away at me and i don't understand why you left us could this be logan harper that she's talking about tommy blames himself he thinks he pushed you away he hasn't said it outright but i can see it in his eyes the way he looks out at sea hoping you'll come back the hurt and confusion in his heart are more than any child should bear jake too young to fully understand just clings to me and asks when you'll return i have no answers for them the only reason i haven't ended it is because of the boys they need me now much more than ever I've already lost so much, I can't bear the thought of them being alone. They're my reason for holding on, my reason for fighting through each day. But it's so hard, Logan, so hard without you. I miss your strength, your presence, the way you made us feel safe. I miss the sound of your voice, the way you used to look at me with that fierce determination. I miss the dreams we shared, the hope we clung to, but most of all I miss you. If you're out there, please come back, we need you, I need you, the boys need their father, and I need the man I love. If anyone else finds this, please help us. We're stranded and losing hope. So, so sad. Okay, so it is getting a bit late. Um, I might leave the raft here. Uh, our sort of little base is just around here. So I think we, yeah, we're also very thirsty as well. So I think what we'll do is we'll get some shut eye for the night, cook us up some food, make sure we're well hydrated and I think, and then we'll venture back out over to that island over there. As we arrive into this island, let's talk about what our next plan is going to be so we need to i think we need to figure out this radio tower so we need to find more of these little post-it notes or whatever we can find um it's a really awkward to use this book while you're actually on the raft sometimes it doesn't sort of want to click or anything so yeah we found this note for the radio tower and there's a digit written at the end of the note which is one percent or one should i say um we've got 25 percent unlocked so i'm guessing we need to find more of these notes now we haven't found any on the radio tower island so that leads me to believe that there's going to be plenty um all around here oh yeah i remember this island there's a nice little campsite over here that we can kind of obtain for a little bit um so yeah as we were going towards this island i did remember there was this island as well once i saw it so i thought we'll check out this island again it's a fairly big one so hopefully there are some stuff on here that wasn't available to us um last time before the devs kindly fix the game so it'll be interesting to see what we actually have over here first of all on arriving on the island we have our first bit of food it's been a while since we've had a decent meal so we might as well grab this one if we can oh we've got a hornet over here as well we don't want to get caught by that thing they can end up poisoning you and that's not fun to deal with okay so what are we getting attacked by now oh another spider i hate spiders i really do but it's weird um i say i don't like spiders i mean i i hate them when i see them around the house or anything like that but whenever i see them on tv or sort of in a video game or anything like that it actually doesn't bother me at all and it's really bizarre um, does anyone else have that where if it's on a TV or anything like that, it doesn't bother them at all? Oh, we've got a nice bit of brewing cup here, stagnant. Um, we'll just grab these. Oh, we've got a beer bottle, we've got a soda pop, a water bottle. We'll definitely take those. Oh, yes, we've got all these tea bags. I definitely want to grab some of these tea bags and this lemongrass. Um, we'll grab this coconut. I think we need to have a clear out of our inventory. We've got lots of random berries and some raw meats we don't need those we can get rid of those um can be eaten or planted i think we'll get rid of those for now we don't need the metal scrap so we can get rid of that i have not used these mushrooms so i'm not really bothered about those we'll apply this bug repellent to save us some room we're going to keep the clay shards and yeah i think that's good we're nice and clear now so we should be able to take this We'll take the lemongrass as well we'll take all of these tea bags and i think what we'll do is we'll take one of those as well so um brewing cup or 
water, a clay container that can use collect rainwater, boil liquids, and mix ingredients for infusions. I think we'll grab both of these if we've got the room for both those we have. Perfect. Okay. So we've got ourselves a little makeshift tent and bed and everything over here. So that's pretty good. Um, oh, so we've got on salmon here. That's unfortunate, to say the least. Um, we've got storage over here. I reckon we should set up a little base camp here. This should be a pretty good idea to set up a little base over here but we'll do that a bit later on let's first explore the island so we just want to explore the beachfront first of all see if there's anything obvious over here um we'll just do a complete lap of the island around here and then we'll kind of delve a little bit deeper in and we have found another message in a bottle so that's pretty cool we'll go ahead and read that actually before we go any further so bottle oh my god we have really been damaged what is that oh this is not this is not ending good for us i was not expecting that at all i haven't saved it either i don't think i've saved it in a little bit of time okay right we're gonna head back to that island and go from there okay so we have some bad new guys I think I've actually soft blocked myself, so I decided to make a little raft with some stuff on. And I slept, and now I'm cold, and it's raining. I can't light my fire, my health is low, and I keep dying. Every time I reload, I last about that long. I can't get a fire started, and I die. And stupidly enough, I decided to save it on my other save file. So as I was trying to get myself sorted to get back to where we were the last time we died by the Jaguar, um this is kind of happening so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have to restart the game and what i'll do is i'll spend a good few hours getting back to the point where we are now and then we should be able to continue where we left off obviously if i find anything um that's sort of additional to what we've already come across then we'll go again or if you want to leave a comment let me know if you want me to start the playthrough again which I might actually do that. I might just record the playthrough again. I've learned quite a lot in this one. So I think it's it might be a good idea to do that. Even more so now the devs have actually fixed the game. And we can actually find stuff. I think it might be a good idea to do that. But let me know in the comments down below anyway. So it's been Kryptonite here. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.